Hi kids, my name's Nicole and this is Let's Make Art and you are here to paint with us for another fun project where we're painting oh. green rolling hills. Ooh. So, we want to grab our supplies out. We like to use watercolor here. here. So we're gonna be using three different colors. Now, whoa, oh, I need to remember to close my lids actually. So I have a light green called leaf green. I have a little bit of a darker green called pine green and I have a yellow called lemon yellow. But if you have a green or a yellow, you are good to go to paint this project with us. Then I have, I'm gonna be using two different brushes. So I'm gonna be using a big one because if you see our project, we're gonna have really big areas. So this one's a size 10. And then I'm gonna be using a smaller one to do my little trees. And this one is a size five. Then the other thing that I wanna make sure you do is remember to tape down your paper. So we're gonna be painting a lot of this paper so it's always helpful to tape it down. So this is my favorite tape that I like to use. You can grab that or any tape that you have. Then we want to, let's introduce you to Keenan, our okay. cameraman. So you can- Let's find him. Know who he is. Hello, how are you? Welcome to our time together with you. And he has a really fun apron on. I do have a fun apron on. <laughs> you want to show them? I'll show you. This is my apron. It's not built for me. It's built for smaller people. This is my favorite microphone. So that's one of our favorite I am an artist aprons. So anyways, okay, so we have our watercolors. We have our brush. We have our paper taped down. We have our palette and a cup of water handy. And then the other fun things that we haven't really used a lot is a paper towel. Now you might be thinking, Nicole, I use that to clean my brushes, but we're gonna use it to paint with. Ooh. So grab a paper towel. Okay, now before we start, if this is your first time, welcome. We like to do a motto. So if you can raise your right hand and repeat after me. I am brave. I am brave. I am kind. I am kind. And I am creative. And I am creative. Let's do this. Ugh. Boom. Okay, so we like to do that together. So we come together because we're all painting from different states. Maybe you're in a different country. Ooh. You never know where you're coming from. So, okay. The first step is to get ready to paint is we're going to be using some different colors. So if you see on our painting right here that we're going to be doing is there is a light green kind of a medium green, a little bit of a darker green, and then a really dark green. So we only have two greens right here, but we can make more. Now, if you have painted with us, you might know this. How do we make a color lighter? Uh, add? Starts with a W. Water. <sighs> <laughs> so you're gonna add water to it. So we'll be able to do that. But before we do that, what I want you to do is take one of your greens. I'm gonna use my leaf green and we are gonna make four different piles because there's four colors that we're using. So add a few drops, add about the same number of drops. I think I'm doing three. So four different areas. If you don't have the same palette, just do it on four different spots of your palette. Then what we're gonna do is on the first one, I want this to be my lightest color. So like we just learned is if you add water to your color, it will make it really, really light. So is this all in the shop, Keenan? It is. Okay, so I'm gonna dip my brush in water and I'm using my big brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dip and then add water right here. Almost like scooping. Yeah, so it's kind of for scooping. Or if you like to do this, you could put it up here. But what we're doing is we're adding water because this is gonna be our lightest green. So let's see what happens. Ooh, Ooh so that's a light. Really light one. So then what we're gonna do is maybe we'll just add a few drops, maybe just do two drops. Let's see what happens. Add two drops to this one. You better do three in that one. Three? Okay. To make it even lighter? Yeah. Because I think you did seven in the first one. Yeah, I did a lot. You did. Oh, that's so, nice. So there's a lighter and then a little bit darker. And then for our third color, I'm going to leave it as this green, actually. Because mm. it's the third color. So it's a little bit darker. Good call on making adding more water. Thank you. And then what we're going to do is on our fourth color. So we have our lightest, a little bit darker. Then we're going to keep our leaf green. And for this darker one is I'm going to add just one drop of my pine green, which is my darker green color, 
Let's see what happens. Ooh. Dude. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so now we have our four colors that we're gonna paint our hills with. So we're ready to do that. Now, I want you to remember our motto and that last word is being creative. So that means you get to use whatever's in your brain and what you think of and you get to put it on paper and you're gonna use your imagination. So we don't have an outline here, we're just gonna go for it together. Now, the other thing is that everyone's painting is going to be different. So if you see these two examples right here, do you see how it's kind of the same thing, but the, this hill's really high. This hill's kind of in the medium area. So you get to decide, because you are the artist, how you want to paint this. So the first step is, is go to your lighter color, dip in, and somewhere near the top, I want you to start on the left side and you're gonna draw a line all the way across. But remember, you're an artist, so you get to decide. So do you want it to go high and then low and then high? Or is you're gonna do something different? You get to decide. So you're gonna paint a line and then the next step is you're gonna fill it all in. There's a lot of these rolling hills in Missouri. Yeah, there are. <laughs> <laughs> There are a lot of rolling. It's no really mountains. flat. Yeah, no mountains. Yeah, so maybe you do a painting that's kind of like where you live. Ooh, that'd be fun. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you have... Maybe it's flatter where you live, or maybe you have more mountains. Maybe it's more, uh, more dirt than grass. Yeah. Maybe it's red. Ooh. Maybe you do one of somewhere else. Or you make up an air, a place. Make up your own vision and place. <laughs> okay, so I want you to paint that whole thing. Now, we want to be kind to our brushes, so sweep the bottom of the cup and then set it down, because we're gonna leave that for now. Grab your extra paper towel. I have two paper towels, one for my brushes and one that I'm gonna use to paint with, or for this technique. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab a piece of paper, or paper towel, crumple it up, Hold it in your hand, and we're going to push onto the paper and then lift. So if you Ooh. can see, it's kind of light on this one. It'll, it'll show a little bit more as we go on, but what we're doing is we're creating some cool texture, and it's also helping our paper dry. Yeah, that's a double play. Yeah. So we're doing that. Maybe I do a little bit more. You can use two hands. Ooh, that works well. Now, oh, I really like that light green color. Okay, so when you are done with that, you want it to be a little bit dry, so you're dabbing. Now, the next step is we're gonna paint our second hill. So we're going to repeat this step again, but with a little bit of a darker color because we want to be able to see our next layer. Now, grab your paintbrush. Dip in your second color. And what happens with this color is it is in front of this hill. So you're going to overlap. We're gonna paint on top of this hill. So start again on the left somewhere and you're gonna to start to draw your line. Now here's the cool thing. If you want this to go higher here, you can. If you cool. want it to go lower, you can. This is your painting. So we're gonna do the same thing and draw our line. You mean we have free artistic freedom? Yes. We can create whatever we want in this world? Isn't that fun? Yes. So when we're doing that, do you see now how this hill looks like it's in front of this one? Oh, it looks closer. Yeah, it looks closer. That is a technique we're gonna learn a little bit more called atmospheric perspective. But I'm gonna keep painting. And if you ever are like me and you run out of paint, guess what? we can make more. So grab more color and dip in. So you're gonna paint all the way to the bottom again. Boom, okay. So now the next step is, again, clean your brush, set it off to the side, Grab your paper towel again, and we're going to 
dab and push. Ooh, so you can see it a little bit more. Do you see and the texture? And your fingerprints. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. So we are adding more texture to our hills. I wonder if there's a paper towel Ooh. that has a pattern like a grass. Well, this one kind of has a little bit of a pattern. Like bushes. Oh, like bushes. <laughs> that would be cool. That'd be funny. And then you could just lay it down flat and whoosh, the whole thing. Yeah, you have bushes. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. Now let's do our third hill. So remember the steps is we're going to grab our color and we're going to start at the left somewhere. And I want you to start a little bit lower and maybe this one just goes whoop and goes down. Oh, that's a sledding hill. Ooh, that is a good sledding hill. That's a good hill. long sledding hill for sure. So do the next step and paint all the way to the bottom. Ooh, do you see what's happening, Keenan? No, point it out. Tell me, what did you see? So I see, which I love whenever I paint, I like to look at what's happening because watercolors does its own thing. But because this was a little bit wet, my second hill, my oh. third hill is a little bit fuzzy and it creates a cool texture. Neat, then it has its own little bushes and grass growing yeah. on top of the hill. Watercolors is so fun. Okay, dip your brush, clean it off, grab your paper towel, and repeat. So I'm gonna push. Whoa! Ho -ho. It does leave your fingerprints. That's cool. <laughs> it's fun. That makes it look like the wind is blowing and there's no, there's like the color of the sun, the shininess <gasps> of the grass does. from the sun, you know? Yeah, like it's glaring. Yeah. Now let's do all that one more time. We can do it together. Grab your brush, dip in your darkest color because this is our fourth hill. And this one we're gonna do a little bit shorter again. So maybe this one goes up and down and up and down. Boom. So draw your line and then color it all in. These hills make me think of Robin Hood. <laughs> because they're green? Yeah, they're green. There's some trees and it just seems like, you know, he would do some archery practice on these <gasps> hills. Maybe you draw him. Ooh, you could draw a couple of targets on there. That's a cool idea. That's a fun idea. I love Robin Hood. Woohoo! Woo! There we go. Okay, so when you're looking at this, do you see how we see four hills? One, two, Three, four. Yes. Now, here's the thing I wanna teach you is that you heard me say atmospheric perspective. I know that's a big word. Maybe we can have our video guy put atmospheric perspective right next to me. And so what that is, is when you're looking outside, if you look outside, the things that are farther away are lighter, which we did, which is why this is lighter, because this is the furthest away and this is the closest. So things that are further away are lighter, things that are closer are darker. And then the other thing is that the things that are further away are smaller. Because if you think about it, if you are reading a book and it's really close to you, the words are big, but if you put it really far away, they're small, right? So because of that, we're gonna use that to paint. So we're, remember, farther away is smaller and lighter, closer up is bigger and darker. Got it? Got it. Got it, okay. So what we're gonna do is, I ran out of colors, so I actually need to make a few more colors here. I'm gonna replenish my supply. And we actually just need three colors for this one. So I'm gonna do my lighter color. And we're going to paint our trees. So because the trees are smaller, I'm actually gonna put my, clean my big brush and put it to the side and I'm gonna grab my smaller brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, so we have the first hill, we're gonna start on the second hill right here that I see, and I'm gonna use the, let's see, what color are we going to use? Let's use our second color. So I'm gonna use this color. And the reason why is that I need to be able to see it because my lighter color hill, I'm gonna paint on top of that. 
So when you see your second hill is paint a tree. Now, if you've never painted a tree, here's a really fun, easy way to do it. Is I want you to draw some lines, some short lines, because remember, these are small. Draw some short lines, and then what we're gonna do is on those lines, think of those as your trunk, and then when you look at a tree, they have lines going to the left and lines going to the right. Those are your branches and your leaves. Now, these don't need to look really perfect because they're really small and they're really far away. So they kind of look like, what'd you say, Keenan, one time? They kind of look like shrubs, bushes? Shrubs, yeah. Because from a distance, they could be trees, they could be shrubs. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? So, and here's the thing, whenever you're painting with us, you get to be creative. So if you want to draw something else popping out, if you want to draw, we can come up with different they ideas. They could be tents. They're, yeah, they could be tents. I think we've done that before one time. We might have. So they could be tents. But you can be creative and add your own things if you want to add more over here. Then let's move on to the next hill. So right here, what we're going to do is we're going to move over in color. So we use our second color here. We're going to use our third color here. And I'm going to paint on top of my, tr my hill right here. And let's see, maybe there's just some right here. But with these ones, these lines are going to be a little bit bigger than these ones. Because remember, we're getting closer. So I have my trunks, and then I'm gonna go on the left, and draw some lines, and then on the right, and draw some lines. So yeah, maybe there are different types of trees. If you wanna add some color here, if you have some color, you can add some there. You can make these flowers. Ooh. If you don't want to do trees. You could have fun with the size of the trees too. Mm -hmm. Or you do small ones. Oh yeah, some of them can be really small. Oh. Real tall one, real short one, real small, you know? Skinny, wide. You can do all kinds yeah, of stuff. Yeah, there's so many different types of trees that exist. Okay, now the last one is, we're going to repeat those steps. And I'm going to use my darkest color. And I'm going to paint them on top of here. Now, the, remember how we went small? medium and these trees are going to be really really big because they're closest up so i'm going to draw these trees bigger and repeat the steps so we're going to do the left side and then the right side yeah maybe the trees are more like this so i'm just pushing oh ooh, this is where you really see shrubbery then yeah that looks more like shrubbery That's so you can cool. do that so you're just yeah. pushing into it you use just the tip and see what you get yeah let's see Ooh, so what I'm doing is I'm pointing my brush up into the air and just doing small little lines. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, there's so many different types of trees you can do. Good idea. Fun. Oh, I forgot some over here. So again, you can add more, you can add more color. You get to decide. Now, sweet. This looks so great. Look at that. So do you see, I want us to pause and I want you to look at this. And do you see how these back here look smaller and further away, whereas these ones look closer up? Awesome. Atmospheric perspective. Yes, atmospheric perspective. You just learned that. Good job. Now the last step to this project is we have some yellow. So I'm gonna squeeze out my yellow and I'm gonna make a sun. Now, I thought about this. If it's nighttime for you, maybe you draw a moon. Ooh, and that'd you make be... the sky blue instead. Yeah, that'd be pretty. You, you get to decide. Your moon could just be a, a like a white spot if your sky is gonna yeah. be blue. Yeah. It could just be a circle on the paper. And then paint the color around it. Yeah. Yeah. And you could do a light color blue like we did to the green, and that could be the color of the moon even. Oh yeah. Just add water. Good idea. Thanks. <laughs> okay, so when I'm looking at my painting, I want you to decide, if you think about it, what time of day is it? Is it sunrise or sunset where the sun is really close, like here? Actually, that's what we're looking at. Is So let's think, oh, this would be cool if you do a lot of them at different stages of where the sun is Ooh, in the sky. Then your yellow could change to a red, disappear, oh. turn into a moon. Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. So this one, the sun's coming down, so that's why you see a little bit less, and this one, it's coming up a little bit more. Yeah. So let's see. 
I see mine when I look at this. I see mine. Let's zoom in in the middle. How you feel about that? I like that. Really big one. So whenever you're doing your sun, is you're gonna draw a hump again, and then I'm gonna paint behind it or paint, but then don't paint when you get to the hill. It's okay if it overlaps a little bit because it's a lighter color. But the reason why is again our sun is behind our hill. So again, there are so many different spaces you, or places you can paint your sun. You can do it on the right or the left or in the middle like I did. I like that. And then, guess what? You did it. You did it? You just painted this really cool painting. So you can let it dry, maybe you add more to it. There were so many different ideas and I'm sure you have so many cool ideas in your imagination or in your brain to draw onto your paper. So again, this is a project you can do more, you can add different, you can do it in a different colors like we said, you can make your own planet and have the hills be different, maybe do one with pyramids. Ooh, you could do, the different colors could be yellow hills, green sun. Yes. I don't know, make it weird. Yes, you are the artist here. So thank you for painting with me. And remember, you learn what atmospheric perspective is. So you get to teach other people what that means and you can paint along with them. So we have a Facebook group where we wanna see what your green rolling hills look like. So please join us, share us. We have a Facebook group called Let's Make Art Kids Projects that you can take a photo and share. Or we have an Instagram called Let's Make Art Kids and we wanna see what you make. So always remember that you are brave, kind, and so creative, and thanks for painting along, bye.